I want to, I just will take five minutes more. I invite Dr. Ayan Mohanta uh, to, to talk his experience within triphobic and triphobic uh, toric IOLs. Can you just finish it fast? So we have to give a session, I mean, hall to the other next session. Uh, thank you, IOK, for giving me this opportunity. I will quickly run through my slides uh, with my experience with triphobic and triphobic toric eye wells. So I'm a consultant with the Disha Eye Hospitals. So the trifocal, uh, this is the only trifocal that offers a full range of vision correction, provides far, near, and intermediate vision, balanced distribution of light, provide better contrast sensitivity, spherical aberration correction to essentially zero, a pupil independent trifocal lens, high quality of vision in all light conditions. It's a synchronized cast boarded lens. So this is the geometry of the lens. It's a six millimeter optic uh, with a overall 13 millimeter size and a four millimeter diffractive zone. And the toric marks are aligned with the haptic optic junction. This is the diffract diffractive surface profile. Uh, it's a biconvex lens with a modified refractive refractive aspheric optic. The material is hydrophobic and is a C-loop haptic. The A constant is 119 with a refractive index of 1.53. Haptic angulation is zero and it's available from zero to 35 diopters with 0.5 increments of optical power. It is a four millimeter diffractive anterior surface as I've already told, the delivery system is disposable. So it has an unique asymmetric diffractive zone with increasing step angulations and decreasing step height. So the light distribution in photopic condition is 52% for far and 18% intermediate and 30% near. So more or less it's uh, constant uh, in all kinds of pupil sizes. So trifocal eye well is pupil independent for far, near and intermediate. And distributed light is distributed to intermediate, near and distant focal points, retaining high quality near and intermediate vision in mesopic and scotopic conditions. So as far as scattering and halo of light are concerned, all multifocal eye wells are potential for creating halos as we are listening for so long. And halos and glares are created by the amount of light that's lost. Eye well design attribute plays a significant role for minimizing halos and glares. And triphobic, trifocal superior patented optical design minimize significant loss of light resulting in very low incidence of halos and glares. So it has a decreasing step height and increasing angulation from center to edge, which ensures excellent light distribution for both focus points, near and far, with minimal, ch minimal chance of halos and scattering of light in all light conditions. So it's the defocus curve of triphobic eye well. You can see there, is a, there are three humps, one for the distance, and for the intermediate, it's around 1.5 uh, to 1.8, and there's another hump at around 3.5. So if we look at the contrast sensitivity uh, and the energy scan for triphobic, trifocal is in 50, 30, 20 light distribution, distribution for far, near, and intermediate. Excuse me, sir. We have to hand over the session to the other. So please, sir, please keep fast. slides if possible. So and my, coming to my experience, this is a small video on the lens. So it's a disposable injector, as I already told. The implantation is fairly easy. And uh, until now, I didn't have any problem with the injector system. So this was my, uh, this is my uh, personal study. It's very small, it's 49 patients with age distribution of 50 to 80 years, with female ranging from uh, female patients 45 and male patients four. And uh, these are the toric and uh, non-toric lenses, 42 and seven. This was the pre-op uh, vision distribution. And most of the patients had a very good 6-6 six, six vision with 10-6. And uh, also in the toric, uh, we have got a, a this is a pre-op uh, vision, and again, there was a 6-6 six, six vision in all, most of the, all the patients of trifobic toric. And one patient had a photic phenomenon, one female patient, and thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mohanta, for finishing in time. So we can